You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1525. I haven't posted any barn hacks in a while, so here is a trading tips episode with my good friend Michelle Barr, where we chat up some multitasking tools for making your horse life easier. And speaking of handy tools, what about handy tools from Kinetic Vet? Like Equishield CKHC. Don't let your horse suffer from itchy, irritated skin any longer with Equishield CKHC by Kinetic Vet. Its powerful formula combines three ingredients to fight bacteria, tackle fungus, and soothe inflamed skin. Equishield CKHC comes in a convenient shampoo, a salve for targeted relief, and a spray on for on the go treatment. See the difference Equishield CKHC can make in your horse's skin? Visit KineticVet.com or ask your veterinarian to order it today. Equishield CKHC, relief for your horse, peace of mind for you. Well, we've got some great tips for our listeners uh, today. Um, What we're going to do is we're going to do trading tips because it's really weird for me to do tips by myself talking to myself or talking to this microphone, so it's just too bizarre. I can't do it. So I've invited Michelle over to hang out with me on the recorder this afternoon. So I'm going to let Michelle do your tip first. Tell me what you've got because it's always fun. I have a tip that is a little archaic maybe. Um, The youngsters listening may not identify with this, but a long time ago... There used to be ironing boards that were resonant in your wall. And there was a little door, and you open the door, and the ironing board would come out, and you would iron your clothes. When you were done, you'd fold it up, shut the door, and go on with life. So if you so happen to have a house or access to a house with a fold-out wooden ironing board, you can take that sucker out, take it to the barn, bolt it up, maybe you could make a little cabinet for it if you have a handy horse husband, and you have multiple uses. It can just be your regular saddle rack, big enough for more than one saddle. It could be a fantastic place for you to clean your saddle because you've got a nice surface there to put all your tack cleaning goo, and you could probably even put... uh, Dry some saddle pads on it. Keep your blankets up off the ground. You know, <gasps> stuff that always just lands on the ground. I never the thought of that. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. You know, and again, and it, I, I don't do much with power tools, uh, just because I don't know enough about them to feel safe. How many How many degrees from college do you have, and you don't use power tools? <laughs> I, well, right. Okay. I let me. I don't really use a chainsaw. The chainsaw scares me, but I use the other stuff. I'm good with, with most of the other stuff. But, you know, I don't want to take any of the joy away from the horse husband, right? That's true. So you could even have him, you know, pare that down a little bit, narrow it, and it could, you know, be custom fit to your oh, yeah. saddle. And I think that places like IKEA, because they really specialize in furnishings and home things that fit in small spaces, I think they oh. still sell a um, in-wall ironing board. Really? Yeah. So uh, hit hit the online sites, folks, for in-wall ironing board because this is a very clever idea to put in your barn. Talk about a multitasker. That's a great idea. Yeah. And you could paint them. You could put your barn logo, your barn colors. Right. You can can leave it open and your barn cats will sit on it. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Maybe even your dog. Maybe even your dog if you've got a Jack Rubble. That's well, right. That's, that's right. that's pretty cool. So my uh, my trading tip. Let me go, let me go over here. My pr- my trading tip for the day mm-hmm. is another multitasker in your life. Good. Which is baby oil. Okay. Baby now, oil. I got to tell you, I have an aversion to baby oil. Because so it's better it be it good tip. So it smells. But it's just it's just I can't. Some about the. Some about the feel of it. So give, give me a good tip and change my mind. Okay. Well, you, you could also substitute mineral oil for all of the okay. above. All right. Um, you use, if you use screw-in caulks for your horse. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, when you take the caulks out, 
have a little Tupperware or screw top container and dump them in there. It will keep them lubricated and rust free. Yes. Uh, extremely handy for removing adhesives and chewing gum of all sorts from horse and human. Oh, and I didn't know that. Yes. They, now, I'm not sure that um, mineral oil is, a, is as effective, but um, mm-hmm. anything sticky and gooey, um, baby oil will either partially or completely remove it. I, wow. discover, I discovered this early in life because I had a certain quantity of bazooka bubble gum stuck in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> which and, is a whole story unto itself. Which is a whole story unto his, and unto it. That was the first time I experienced short hair too. Um, <laughs> but it was very effective in getting the bazooka bubble gum out of my hair. It's <laughs> great. And it also is really, really handy um, in a pinch when you need to get the dust off of your horse in your tack. He you spits a little bit of it on, onto a rag and zing, it's off. It's better than spit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Will it stain your breeches? Well, if you it the the baby oil will stain your breeches, so you don't want to put it on like the flaps of your saddle and the seat okay. of your saddle. But it's or like maybe you, wipe you, it off too. you need to wipe off the, the your nose band before you go in. Yeah. Get the dust off your boot. Nice. Um, because the, it will help the dust stick to the cloth versus just wipe it off and it goes right back on the animal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's, very that's cool. One of my favorite faulty Casper. So there we go. Yay, Training tips. Well, Quickie number one. Very good. I might have to change my mind about baby oil. Maybe they make baby oil that's not scented like baby oil because I really don't like the scent of it much at all. It's icky. Uh, Yeah, it is. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thanks a lot, Michelle. We'll see you next time. (laughs) You bet. Well, there you have it. Horse Radio Network has thousands of engaging podcasts for horse people, and you can have them sent right to your phone. Just subscribe via your favorite podcast player. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>